So in terms of our diversity and inclusion initiatives, um, we have launched a new programme for this year, which is our Ethnic Minority Access Programme. Um, this builds on a scheme that we ran for the last couple of years, um, which was a work experience programme um, for students who were Black, Asian or minority ethnic students. Um, and actually the feedback from that programme was that they wanted to be considered for a training contract at DWF. So we've decided to really bring this programme to life a bit more. Um, so we now offer um, a place on the programme which would then get you a mentor. Um, you'd also have some skill sessions that you attend. And then finally you would undertake the vacation scheme at DWF. Um, so we want to try and increase access to the profession and that's how we're aiming for this programme. Uh, we're also affiliate members for Aspiring Sisters as well, um, so we work really closely with them to make sure that we're giving coaching and, and advice skills um, to students. We also removed our A-level and Scottish hires um, criteria a couple of years ago just to try and make sure that we were getting a really wide variety of candidates um, who may have maybe not done so well at A-level, um, but then I've gone on to have a really successful degree and, and um, career after that point, um, so we wanted to increase access to the profession there. Um, and we've also used strengths-based interviewing for a good few years now, which focuses very much on the future and future skills as opposed to reflecting on previous work experience, which we think would help to increase access to the profession as well. So there's lots going on and um, we're always looking to increase um, our activity in this area as well. Um, and it's a really key part of our ESG strategy. Um, so we're hoping that we'll have even more initiatives in the next couple of years. So diversity and inclusion, both at Kirkland and in the wider, wider ecosystem is quite a big part of what we do. I personally came through to the firm via SEO London and Aspiring Solicitors, are two organisations I worked with quite a lot and now as an alumni I get to work with them quite a lot still via the firm's open days, via various programmes, I was at their, their awards most recently. and. It's nice to know that that pipeline exists and that the relationship gets deeper and deeper over time. In terms of specific organisations that the firm runs, there are affiliation groups for, you know, DNI categories, be that LGBTQIA or you know, racial or whatever it happens to be, disability. There, there are someone like ergonomic working. Quite a lot of quite a lot of interest groups to be involved in in that space, and a lot more focus from. Chicago as well, the central office, we have now a diversity and inclusion head on the actual global panel. So you see a lot more weight behind that in the initiatives that we produce and in, even in the sessions that get run out of the states that we get access to. So Adult Shores has got quite a lot of um, diversity and inclusion policies. We have a very active committee structure, so we have uh, AG Embrace, which is the Ethnicity and Race Inclusion Committee. We've got the Vine, which is Women's Inclusion. We've got LGBTQ plus um, uh, and diversity inclusion committees. Um, and this week we've got uh, a disability awareness um, a week. So, I mean, other weeks have included South Asian heritage um, um, and also Black History Month was massive. So yeah, we try very hard at the firm. Um, and also we've got a good um, uh, departmental and firm-wide uh, reverse mentoring. And that's been really wonderful to be in part.